Hello friends, after chat GPT, Devin is here. Now both are trying to kill software job and if you are asking me my opinion, then yes, that is real. Chat GPT and Devin can kill software engineering jobs. But, 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 I am not surprised by this. Because I have seen so many technologies and tools in past 15 years of my software engineering career, those tools also killed many many software engineering jobs and in this video i will share how i survived and most importantly how i am right now using those tools including chat gpt in my favor okay let's first understand how in the history of web development there were many innovations and tools that have killed many jobs because those who know the history can better predict the future, right? So around 1990-95, the internet started with HTML, CSS, JavaScript, .NET, right? And uh, then the trend of web application starts, for which the companies or client hi will hire the software engineers who understand the, their requirements, company product requirements, write the code, review the code then test and then finally deploy the application right so that is like the normal software development process which happens in every application around almost but then around 2000 2005 there comes many code review tools just an example code review tool those code review tools can identify and list the code defects in your code and therefore previously if you need 10 hours to review the whole code now you need only two hours okay that means now we need less software engineers right for example now we need only five de developers for creating five web application after code review tool so I know five web, web, web applications are too much, but just as you. So now you need fewer software engineers and a smaller budget to build the same uh, web application, number of web applications, right? Now, sorry, now like today, you can think some software engineers will lose their jobs at that time. Okay, so for example, there will be one or two software engineers left uh, to manage the same five applica web application instead of five developers but what happened next because of low cost applications the demand of uh, web applications almost doubled okay so now the demand increased for the web application it becomes 10 web applications the demand for and since web application uh, creation is easy so therefore only 15 are now handling the 10 web application so getting my point now the software engineers are more product productive and efficient with the help of the code review tools and there are many other tools also like the v uh, sorry so source uh, version control tools and many other tools so now you might argue okay code review tool is helping software engineers to write better code it's not replacing the software engineers right but then there is another example there are some tools like cms tools project management tools people management tools for example wordpress shopify wix these tools can create specific web applications without any coding language okay so meaning coders are completely completely replaced for some yes some specific kind of applications so companies can just customize these tools and use these tools with very few software engineers that means most of the software if, uh, engineers will again lose their jobs the software engineers but again next five years there are more applications in demand and the requirement of web application increases and therefore the software engineers demand also increased similar to this then come automation testing which again killed uh, jobs for manual testers 
but again due to low cost applications there are more applications and therefore more software engineers simple see not just in software engineering wherever any innovation happens in any industry in any area the cost of product will go down okay like it happens in mobile phones tv computer laptop the quality will increase okay so because of the low cost lo low cost usage and demand will increase and therefore the jobs and employment will increase that's how things work in short if today we need 100 engineers for 100 applications one engineer for one application then tomorrow we will be needing 500 engineers for 1000 applications one engineer for two application more efficient more productive great that is one logic another reason is that if you see this application development phase then in software engineering coding is only 30 percent the remaining 70 percent includes requirement estimation design deployment etc okay so your client or customer company will never deploy any code generated by directly by jet gpt or devin on their servers your client will first get approval from you as a software engineer from any software engineer and then they only they will deploy right there is one more thing if you are from any IT company like TCS, Accenture, Infosys, there are many. And if you are targeting those companies, then 70% of their projects are enhancement based projects, existing projects. These tools have almost, almost no role in supporting the existing projects. They can't do anything. Okay. Because that's the idea because they have to understand the business, the application first. Okay. So they can't they just create the code great i think after all this explanation you do not need any further uh, clarification and if you still have any fear of these tools then let me tell you very real short story of mine so one once it's not related to coding so once i was traveling in the mountains in a taxi with my friend and my friend was hold, holding all the time the taxi door very tightly from inside. I asked him why you holding this handle. He said if somehow while moving the taxi will fell down from the hill or mountain then he will immediately open the door and jump outside. I said okay nice plan so I hope you got the point. We can't live like that. Uh, being optimistic about the future is the only way to live life otherwise fears will make our life miserable and pathetic all right now let's come to the solution and how to deal with these tools and situation see the answer is very short and simple and you know that we have to slowly slowly upgrade our skills so that whatever code these tools are providing we can understand it 100 percent and use that code for our application that is the only way you can grow with the with with these tools along with these tools so previously in my take my example in my job suppose i was taking four hours to finish some code but then after chat gpt i was doing the same thing in one hour but 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 again i was using the rest of the three hours to learn the next level and go to the next thing quickly if you are not doing this then yes your fears can be real for you so don't stuck on something just learn new things give interviews do new projects don't get stuck for on something forever otherwise whether tools are there or not your job will always be in danger it's not secured all right i think that's all from my side i hope now you know all your reasons for moving forward and at last don't worry have fun just chill and do the hard work to move forward okay thank you